Do not be afraid, Jesus says. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and see, now I am alive forever and ever. We cannot meet in the same room today. I would love for the sanctuary to be full, for us to be face to face in this moment. But by the Lord's grace, online and by phone, we are joining together to worship, to pray, to encourage each other, to hear his voice. Praise God. He is with us here by his Holy Spirit. Welcome to this time with Mapleview Mennonite Church on Sunday, March 29th, 2020. In this first pre-recorded segment, we're going to ask the Lord to fill us with his Holy Spirit and to lead us. I'll share some scripture um, from, from Psalm 16. And, and then, if you're watching this by YouTube, I encourage you to, to follow the link to a musical version of Psalm 16 um, and then to, to my message for the morning. Um, if you're listening through Go to Meetings, just, uh, or watching through Go to Meetings, just continue watching or listening live. Then after that, we want to have an interactive time of sharing and prayer. If you're watching on YouTube, please log in to go to meetings by 11.15 a.m. Sunday morning to take part in that live ministry segment. We're not sure if it'll start right on the dot, but, it, but please log in by that, by that point, by 11.15. You know, there was a moment in the ministry of Jesus when he dropped a bombshell on his disciples. It came right after an incredible aha moment when Peter blurted out to Jesus, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. As his disciples were absorbing and re reveling in that exciting truth, Jesus shocked them. He said, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law. And he must be killed and on the third day raised to life. Not long after, Luke 9 verse 51 says that Jesus, as, as the time approached for him to be taken up into heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. Knowing the pain and sacrifice ahead, he embraces his mission. As Isaiah prophesied, Jesus set his face like flint toward the cross. In seven days, we're going to be celebrating Palm Sunday when Jesus was welcomed to Jerusalem in an exuberant, joyful parade. By the end of Holy Week, though, he'll be crucified. Today, as we turn to Psalm 16, I'd like to consider it with Jesus in mind, especially his journey to Jerusalem. First, though, please join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your long walk to Jerusalem so many years ago. Thank you that you also meet us today on our journey. Lord, you, you know and understand the upheavals and anxieties caused by COVID-19, everything happening in our lives and in our world. We welcome you today. Please fill us with your Holy Spirit now. Guide us. Speak to us. Open your word to us. Help us to hear your voice clearly. Be glorified in us, your church, we pray. In your precious and holy name, amen. He drew on them in his teaching, in lamenting over Jerusalem in facing his opponents, and in revealing himself as the Messiah. On the cross, as he was dying, he quoted from the Psalms. Again, after he was raised from the dead, as Jesus explained the meaning of his life, death, and resurrection, as he explained that to his disciples, he spoke of the Psalms. 
I wonder how often did these prayers of Israel flow from the heart and lips of Jesus as he turned them toward his heavenly father? Did he rehearse all of them from beginning to end? As he traveled to Jerusalem step by step, did he ever land on Psalm 16? How might it have encouraged him? Peter and Paul would both turn to it as they proclaimed the gospel. In fact, they said this psalm was about Jesus. It's also, of course, for us. What is the Lord saying to us through this psalm today? Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also rest, will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And now, if you're listening on YouTube, I encourage you to, to click on the link and watch watch uh, Jason Silver's uh, rendition of Psalm 16. No good apart from you. If you are following on Go to Meeting, just please stay, stay tuned for this now. And after that, I invite you to, to, um, to return um, by uh, clicking on the YouTube link to, to my message um, or stay tuned to Go to Meetings. God bless you.